Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about the scapula and its incredibly important role in shoulder mechanics. So the scapula, or your shoulder blade, needs to act as a stable base for the rest of the shoulder to move upon. So if any of the muscles surrounding the scapula are weak or too tight, it leads to altered mechanics and altered positioning of the scapula, which in turn can lead to pain and dysfunction. So today we're gonna to go through a couple exercises to strengthen and stretch the surrounding scapula muscles so that we have the healthiest shoulders and remain injury free. So the first exercise we're gonna talk about is called scap setting or scapula setting. And some of you may have heard about this or know how to do it and that's great. So scapula setting is basically when you retract and slightly depress your shoulder blades and it puts them in the most ideal position for shoulder movement to occur. It's a very stable position. Um, it's also related to posture in that if we're setting our scapula, we can't have um, forward shoulders. We can't be hunched. We also can't have our shoulders elevated. Um, so it's a really great position to be in, not just for shoulder exercises, but for any exercise. So what I like to do is before I do um, any exercise such as squats or even overhead movement, um, try and set my scap beforehand. You can also be setting your scap during the day just as a good posture reminder. So whenever you walk under a doorway, think about setting your scap. So um, an analogy we like to use is imagine dropping each shoulder blade down into opposite pockets. So try not to stick out the rib cage. A lot of people will set their scapula and push their rib cage out. And we don't want that. We want our ribs to remain closed. We're just simply lifting our shoulder blades, putting them down into opposite pockets. And you should feel the muscles on either side of your shoulder blade contract. You want to start by bringing your shoulders up, dropping your shoulders down to depress the scapula, drop them into opposite pockets. Um, and you should feel the muscles right in here called your rhomboids engage in that position. So we're not forwards, we're not winging our scapula, we're simply dropping them down into opposite pockets without sticking our rib cage out. Um, and this is going to provide kind of the most stable position for us to then perform movements on. So two muscles that we often find are tight around the shoulder and scapula are biceps which runs down your arm and pec coming from the sternum and attaching out the arm here. So two easy stretches. You don't need any equipment for these. We're just going to use a wall um, and they're kind of the same stretch. We're just going to change the positioning of our arms. And so the first one I'll do will be with a straight arm and it will get bicep and then we're going to bend the arm and it will allow our shoulder to position a little differently so that we can stretch the pec. Okay. So the first one is a bicep stretch, so straight arm, and then you're kind of turning away from the wall. And you should feel it down your, uh, down your arm here. Okay, and I like to hold that for 30 seconds for about three sets each side. Um, and then the next one is for the pecs, and that is same thing but bent arm at a 90 degree angle. And then you'll feel this one more into the chest, and same thing three sets of 30 seconds, both sides. So it's important to do the biceps and pec stretch because when those muscles are tight, they pull the scapula forward into a position that's not ideal for movement. Um, and it can also create impingement in here. So if you get any, if you ever get any shoulder pain right in the front of your shoulder, that can be a cause because it can actually pull the head of the humerus forward and it can tilt the scapula. And there's already a very small space for tendons and nerves to run through here. So if those muscles are tight, we decrease that space even more, which isn't ideal and can lead to a lot of pain and discomfort. Okay, the next exercise we're gonna look at is a really great warm up um, prior to your rehab exercises or your strength training. Um, they're called CARS, which stands for Controlled Articular Rotations. You can do them at any joint. Um, they're often very helpful at the shoulder joint and the hip but there's other ones for the knee, um, for the elbow. So basically we're gonna be taking, with no weight, we're just gonna be taking our shoulder through the full range of motion. So this is a really great warm up because you're stretching and strengthening kind of the entire shoulder, getting it warmed up. 
prior to doing your exercises. So this is what it kind of looks like. So we're gonna take the shoulder or the arm, um, hand up. We're gonna take our arm all the way up until we can't move it anymore. We're going to then turn our palm out and finish the range of motion. So I like to say that you imagine you have a pencil or a pen on the end of your finger and you're trying to draw the biggest circle that you can, right? So drawing your circle all the way up, can't go any further this way, so I'm gonna turn and continue to draw a very wide circle. Trying to keep your shoulders facing forward the entire time, not letting your body move too much. We want this to be isolated movement from the shoulder joint, okay? And then I like to do about 10 rotations one way, and then you go back the other way. So palm kind of facing midline. You're gonna go all the way back as far as you can. When you can't get any further, you're gonna rotate your palm and come the rest of the way, okay? So 10 rotations one way, 10 rotations the other, and that's just a really good general shoulder warm up. Okay, so the next exercise we're gonna look at are called Y's. Um, we're gonna add a little modification to them so that they're not so difficult when you're beginning. Um, so Y's activate what's called mid to low traps. So often those are weak in a lot of people. They overuse their upper traps and underuse their mid to low traps. But mid low traps are so important in depressing the scapula and maintaining that ideal positioning. So we're going to do 10 sets of modified Ys. So basically a full Y would be laying on your stomach, um, arms are in a Y position overhead and you're lifting them back up but we're gonna bend our arms, which makes it a little bit easier to start with. And then as you progress and as that exercise gets very easy, you can then begin to straighten your arms out to make it more challenging. So um, to start with, I would do three sets of eight. Um, if that's too hard, you can do less than that. If that's too easy, you can do more. Um, really important to set your scap. So what we talked about at the beginning of the video um, prior to doing these and to make sure that your upper traps are not activated. It can be really easy to just lift your shoulders to try and do these, but you really need to set this gap, keep the shoulders down, and if you take one hand, you should be able to feel your low traps activating as you're doing these. So I'll just demonstrate what they look like. So this bent arms, and we're going up and down. So shoulders, or scapula is set, shoulders are not lifted, they are dropped down, and that's what it looks like. And you can eventually open your arms into a full Y. Okay, so our last exercise is called a scapular push-up, and it activates what the muscle known as serratus anterior. So serratus anterior comes from the upper eight ribs and wraps along behind the scapula and then attaches to the medial border of the scapula. So it helps in what's called protracting the scapula, so bringing the scapula forward. Um, it often looks like fingers. If you ever see boxers have really um, developed serratus anteriors, and it looks like fingers along their rib cage here. So that's the serratus anterior muscle because they do so much shoulder protraction when they punch. So that's kind of the action of this exercise. Um, you can do them with an actual push-up or without. Um, I'm going to be doing them from a um, semi push-up position, but you can also do them just up against a wall if that's a little bit easier, um, just partially um, inclined there. And I'll demonstrate what they look like, but basically you are doing a push-up just with your scapula. So your scapula are protracting and going back. And that protraction action is going to strengthen the serratus anterior, which in turn is going to help um, because a lot of people have weak serratus anteriors and that's an important muscle in stabilizing the scapula and creating that ideal position for the shoulder. So this is what they look like. Start with three sets of eight. As it gets easier, you can make it more difficult by adding a push up prior to or um, starting from the feet instead of the knees if you're going from a push-up position. You can also add a band around your shoulders down to your hands to make it more difficult. But this is what it looks like. 
So we're in our push-up position. We're going to do our, if you're doing a push-up, and then you're simply going to push your back, the kind of mid T-spine, if you're going to round your back at the top. You don't have to do the push-up at the beginning if you don't want. You can simply do scapula push-ups, which look just like this. Okay, you can add a band then, like I mentioned, um, around your shoulders and then tuck it beneath your hands, which makes it a little more difficult to get into that rounded position. And that is scapular push-ups.